Mohammed Polo, the dribbling magician. Mohammed Polo, the magnificent. The story about the the, 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 the magician uh, player. The player with different abilities. I'm a maestro. I'm a wizard. I'm Polo to Polo. I'm Wonder Boy. I'm player extraordinaire. I'm scientist footballer. Different different abilities. And you are in a, in a, I became a coach. From, from from showing to the, the whole Ghana public that this man, after football, he will become a coach because I became a coach player. I mean, quite Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, my fair clock, where Danike, my fair clock, a galley, Nima Costo, when you have for it, can they get the wally, you have for no confusion, you can't go on was it. No, 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 I can hear you, I can into machine. What bar me? Well, look, 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 Coaching is putting your thinking into action. That is what, what coaching is about. Now, I studied them, I saw them, I revisited the match they played against us. Then I saw that we gave them enough space to operate because they are full of techniques. The boys, the 14, 20, 10, 8, 12. Very, very with the ball when you give them space. So we try something called uh, tracking and getting free. Track them, get free, and play. So we deny them the space for them to maneuver. In terms of power play, it's zilch. If you watch our game against Mali, the young man was running away from taking, uh, in, uh, taking the ball. He didn't want it. Give me away, give me away. He was practically running away. He was running away. Mm-hmm. When, we were and, when we were being marooned and we were under attack from the Malians, and he had the opportunity of staking a claim in the team, any time an attempt was made to him with a ball, with a pass, he's running away. He's running away, leaving the ball. Hiding. <laughs> Hiding behind opponents. This whole Telemundo, hmm? it's like a... It's like a... It's like a... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's something that sometimes for the, for the uninitiated <laughs> Telemundo is a channel that shows telenovelas yes mm. <laughs> so this is like a soap opera it's like a soap opera mm. this clearly is a soap opera mm. it's, it's, it's winding down so let's call uh, Extra Mandura Man from Extra Mandura Man ah Bola when the boy is coming to the player he's running away <laughs> <laughs> you know what's the game and shockingly there's a certain miraculous acrobatism. No, Mr. Sadia, Master 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 Sadia, that's any bay. I said, Silver, so I said, Silver, huh? Silver, Silver, I said, 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 I they know the punishment. It's self right. <laughs> no, not the punishment. See, no, see, see. You choose. You choose. You choose, you choose, you choose, you choose love to my job. Don't be exactly what you do. Because no, see what it's a chat go do. Football no day. Mm. It's a chat go marry. Yeah. yeah. So with the footballer, see, from August 2019 to December 29, we don't play football. No marry. No marry. <laughs> we start late after we fall. Yeah, no, he said he said he'll go marry. <laughs> that be, that be the time where money catch. No. <laughs> so he choose love over career. Mm. And so if today you get your lover, the court say they give you more time to go top love. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not a big deal. <laughs> Me against that, I thought that this matter. They are does does Don Bote still want to play football? You are thirty six years old. Forget about the age. 
Why, we cannot forget about the age, dog. Mm. You are 36. Yeah, 36. You doubt 36. In me, forget about the age. What you want me to come and do for you? You still think you can perform at the Very. highest level? Why? In Ghana? Yeah. Not in Ghana, sir. Anywhere? Yeah. You train? Serious. By yourself? Always. Why don't you want to join a club and train? Uh, you see, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Then they say they don't believe themselves. The coaches don't believe themselves. They are not real coaches. They don't, you have to believe, believe yourself that, no, oh, this guy can do it for me. If you believe me, I can do it. But so far as you just relax yourself, no, if I can't self, I won't get that spirit because you don't believe me. So you think that if a Premier League team were to give you an opportunity to play, you would make an impact? Can I? Yeah. Yes. I can, I can play. I can play pass all the current players. That's all a the current players in Ghana Premier League. That's a serious statement coming from somebody who yeah. hasn't played in almost a year. You know something? I know myself. That's why I said, if you don't know me, you don't know me. You see, I saw a game. Like when you get a chance, every player, every blessed player will decide to score. But and then to decide to cut the ball. So when you both decide together, then you miss the chance. I decide differently and he also decide differently. And our decision was together. That's why he was able to cut the ball. So I think next time I raise my head and watch the ball close and put the ball. You have uh, three or four phones. What messages have you been receiving? I, I have it, I have it with them because uh, they, they, they keep on coming. They keep on coming. I think that uh, I have to I have to turn one of the phone off. You haven't read any of the messages? No, 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 no at all, no, at all. Look, look, they, 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 they still call it, they still call it. Phones are called. <laughs> If you want to live like a tycoon, mm. remember that whoever's got the power or whoever's got the money has got the power. Ghana's newest lottery game draws live on Adum TV at 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. daily. Now pick up your phones, tablets, and computers and download the Game Park app on um, Play Store. You can also play on our website at www.gameparkgames.com or by dialing star 946 hash on all networks. Just choose four, four numbers from zero to nine. It's easy to play and easy to win. Charlie, make we play this game and make some moolah. Nobody beats our odds in Ghana. Game Park Games, more moolah, more power. This game is regulated by the National Lottery Authority. Not for persons under 18. Play responsibly. The people's drink. Hey, Charlie, today I'm not seeing it here. My drink, your drink, coach's drink, everybody's drink. For the weather. Puka. No more. You mean 
they Re- drink for the weather. Thank you, it's my brother. It's a hilarious weather. Thank you. Oh, Charlie. 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 O
lawyer Amanda Clinton, who also contested the presidency. Shout out um, to Amanda Clinton. Yeah, yeah four years I ago. Am. She says that George Freire deserves to be treated with more respect than what is currently happening. <sighs> She's not happy at all. Coach, I'm sure you have followed it. You have listened to that 16 minute interview that was done on point blank. Um, we'll try and see if we can play excerpts of George Freire's lawyer's interview on the show. But this is where we are at. It looks like we might be heading for the polls on the post. To everybody in Ghana, to <laughs> everybody listening to Sports Panorama beyond the shores of Ghana, Keto Kriku will not go on the post. I don't know why they <laughs> are bent. Have you seen something we haven't no, seen? Inke, look, I don't know why they are. If you want to disqualify somebody, do you disqualify George Free, the one you contested against? Do you disqualify? They say they say that there were genuine infractions and that he has fallen. Assuming short of the they, statutes. assuming there were, <laughs> but your own statute that you are referring to, when the election committee, or electoral committee, or election committee, whatever they are called, got it. They should have called George Efri and said, look, when we went through your form, pay our own status. Come and take it. Go back. There are issues with it. Mm -hmm. And George should have been given three days. Even and, that and, one and, and, alone. And his lawyer states this That in, one in a alone. Statement. I don't know why you said you are the best man for the job. You said our football is in the best of hands. The, the people trust you. The people know you are the best man. The people this, the people that. If you are so much uh, uh, aware of all this, let the contest go on. Let me, let, let me read an excerpt from his lawyer. He says, we are going to go to CAS. And that's the instruction I have. We are exploring the situation where the court in Ghana will explore the breaches of the rules on natural justice. That's what, exactly. you're, that's what you're referring exactly. to right now. As far as George Free is candidate to stand. For the office exactly. of the president of the GFA is concerned. Mona, at the moment, I waste your time. It's like we are we are talking about things we shouldn't be talking about. You mean by now we should have been at the polls? Ah, we should have been at the polls. George by now should have told the football people that this is this is what I'm going to do for you. Keto Kroko, that look, I have done this. Don't forget that there's also an um a motion for an injunction. That's what I'm saying. See, mm -hmm. we have you see, if you want if you want the game to flourish, if you want people to be part of this game and enjoy every bit of it. Mm -hmm. You yourself don't do anything to frustrate the system. You don't do that. Because when you do that, you are pushing people away. Mm -hmm. And for me, look, we all want our football to go to the next level. Look at how well Dreams FC. Look at how well Midyama. We should be sitting here today and talking about these two teams, hoping and believing that tactically, technically, by whatever means, mm -hmm. They will be getting to the group stage of the CAF Champions League and the CAF uh, uh, Comfort Cup. Mm -hmm. But rather, we are wasting our time talking about something we shouldn't be talking about. Mm -hmm. Why are you frustrating the system? In Kita, what is the meaning of I'm the best man for the job? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of I'm the one the football people have, have trusted with this job and they will continue to trust? When you make such emphatic statements, you shouldn't be and you are not afraid of anything. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If the contest were to be held today, mm -hmm. Kate believes he will win. Kate Okreku, he believes he will continue to So why is he preventing us from having a contest? At that, look, I'm shocked. When I, when I looked at whatever has been written, by the, look, so many things need to be changed about some of the status of the FA. A sitting president will set up an election committee together with the ESCO members. I, who I, are, I, I, what is all that? I found that very no, interesting. Very interesting. Of no, no, he was oh, part but, of the committee. The was, president, the, look, who set up the election? Who set up the It was Congress. Committee. I was at Congress. I voted for it. Hey, it was Congress. Those the members, did it. those members, the president did those, it members those members, those members, those members, those members were voted for at Congress. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those yes. members. Ah, master. Yes, it who was Congress. Put, who put forward their names? Who put forward their names? Who put forward their names? Don't do that. So now, so now Let's have a good program. From, Let's have a good program. Make from, make program. program. I'm in the shadow. Okay. I'm in the shadow. Let's have I'm, a good I'm program. Going to put it, I'm going to put so what I'm program. saying is this. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is this. 
you say you are the best man for, for the job. Mm -hmm. You've been in there for four years. Talk based on your track record. <clears throat> Open the gateway and let people contest you. Yeah. From five million to 50 million. A very clear attempt to disrupt and then frustrate the system. You know, look, I said it. If nobody would contest him at the time, if George Free had not picked up the form at the time, me, Coach Nimli, I would have gotten people to support me to pay the 50... Uh, for, uh, you would have contested uh, him. No, simple. Shiki is. What are you doing here? I'm not from Shiki. I'm not sure. Why are you so afraid? Why are you... Look, the election, Keto Kreku will not go on a post. Mm. I am telling, I mean, Shadow, I'm telling all the people at the Ghana Football Association who are with Keto Kreku, the election committee, I'm telling them, Keto Kreku will not go on a post. I will be the first person to congratulate Keto Kreku on this same platform. If he goes and contests the election with George Freire and he wins, hands down, me, Coach Nimli, I will come and I will congratulate him and I will support him to succeed for the next four years because it is not about him. Thank you. It is not about any individual. It's about our football. Yeah. So if you if you love our football, mm -hmm. you would you you wouldn't do anything to yeah. destroy our football. Mm. Why? Let the contest roll. Mm -hmm. Like George Free rightly said, mm -hmm. the FA rules is not bigger than the rules of Ghana. Yep. It is not bigger and supreme to the rules of Ghana. Every available option. Mm -hmm will be exploited to make sure that there'll be a contest on the 20th. Yeah. Is it 24th or 25th well, of October? I, I, as things as, stand now, there's no, no there's no proper date. Now, look, no, it has moved to 5th October now. You see, look, because they shouldn't the, do anything. The, the look, date 27th. They mm -hmm. shouldn't do anything mm -hmm. for people to suspect that. In fact, already. Let, me, let me let me even go in sure. in what? that direction because what? of that question. What you're is asking. that? I mean, now you 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 are team what manager of the FA. You are Dreams wow, FC. Not team manager. <laughs> they've moved. Team they've manager. Moved, like a time, they've moved the thing from twenty something Seven, yeah. to so, fifth October. So, so this is it. Look, Ghana they, Bango. At the moment, mm -hmm. there is there is Ghana Bango. Ghana Bango. Ghana Bango. Joe. In Lakabu. They should go ahead and they'll see what will happen. Okay. Hold on. See, at the moment, there is a court hearing mm -hmm. or an injunction hearing. Mm -hmm. Filed by King Faisal yeah. against the process. Yeah. The case has been adjourned three times now. Hmm. And the new date is 28 September, which is a day after the original the, the date initial, of the 7th. Yeah. So the GFA brought out a new statement that, okay, because of that, they are moving the Congress, the elective Congress now to 5th October, hoping that by 28 October, they will have settled all the <coughs> differences. Issues, and then yeah. on the 5th, they go to yeah, Tamale but, for that so, election. So, so at the moment... So the who plan, gave them the 27th October? 28 October. That's okay. the, what the them. case is adjourned. That's the, the, the date agreed by the lawyers. Mm -hmm. That's on that date, let's come and meet mm -hmm. with the judge and then we'll settle that case. Is it 28 September or 28 28 October? September. 28 <laughs> September is the new date for the court hearing. Mm -hmm. What was the original date for 20, the election? 27, 27 September. September. <laughs> so it's, it means that mm -hmm. they'll have to then move the Nana date Bango. to 5 October, which yeah. they've done at the moment. And so we are just waiting for that Nana 28 Bango. September yeah. to see what the court will say. Mm -hmm. Because what they issue about that court hearing is that mm -hmm. Kim Faisal wants the GFA to start elections from the bottom. Yeah. So the RFA should start be the, sure. before we get to the presidency. Yeah. The GFA at the moment mm -hmm. maintains that they will still start from the top. Because Most of your people will fit, lose the election. October, you want to be ruling people on, who don't like you. On 5th October, when you look, 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 look at the roll call, the roll call starts mm -hmm. after the opening prayer and everything. It starts with the presidential election. And so there's doing. still the plan to start with the presidential election first mm -hmm. before we okay. get to the lower level. Let happen. me let me ask Aminu something, ah, right? So, the FA president granted an interview to Super Sport yeah. where he was asked about going on a post and he said he mm. was unsure if yeah. that was what was going to happen. But he did say that, he did hint that he would go on a post in that interview. Fast forward, George Free has been disqualified. There are those who say, or there's a school of thought <clears throat> that... One, like his lawyer mentions natural justice, there was an opportunity for the FA mm -hmm. to call George in to rectify his mm -hmm. filing process. It was He was not granted that privilege. So there are people who say that there is a premeditated attempt oh, you are. Oh, you are. Yes, no, to, to have the FA president allegedly go yeah. on a post. Yeah. How's the FA taken in all of this? Because, I mean, 
like we have all agreed, the football ecosystem works together. You don't want a system where you go unopposed. There's, there are factions who are not happy with you. How is the FA taking all of this? Uh, okay, Benjamin, first and foremost, let me put in this disclaimer. I'm not here to speak on behalf of oh, the, the Football FA. Association. Okay. Fair enough. I'm here to speak in my capacity as Aminu Shadow, who also practice in the same industry. And work for Keto Kriku. Uh, Add that one. Says, and work for Keto Kriku. No, no, no. Everybody knows in Ghana that you work for Keto Kriku. No, but he says... No, no, he says... He's here for Aminu Shadow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 The microphone's out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. The microphone hold on let me just say this let me let me no 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 hold on hold on let me let me just say this. you see there's no this this in this job there are ethics if aminu says that he does not want to be quoted as dreams fc administrative manager for the things he says i think that's fair i think that's fair enough he can he can speak in his private capacity so, 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 so I understand. but I'm, I'm, I'm also saying that he rejects the right as, as to he not speaking for mm -hmm. dreams or ever on this matter accepted yeah. that he works for dreams no, that was the one that's one that's one today he's here for i don't even have a challenge with that so if that's right please please go ahead okay first and foremost yeah you don't control what people think you know, people have the right to think whatever they want to think. But then okay. mm -hmm. you look at the facts of the matter. And you see, I was very, very amused when I was listening to Coach because it appears in all the discussions, the gamut of the issue is being dodged. Why are we not attack attacking the main issue? Okay. What is the issue? The issue has to do with rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. In football, there are rules and regulations. Now go D. That's why when you are playing football and you infringe on an opponent in the penalty area, mm -hmm. the referee is likely to penalize you with a penalty kick. Yes. Rules and regulations. Has the rules and regulations been followed to the latter? No. The facts of the matter, best. it clear? No. It's clear? No. Now, what is the no? The no is, no. if I file a form mm -hmm. and there is problem, the rule says that that's if you look at my form, so I'll put it. Let it. Let me. No, I'll put, I'll put it clear. So, hold on, hold on. Uh, don't worry, don't Who's worry. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so let me get into yeah. it. So All looking right. at the uh, verdict from the appeals committee, yeah. they quote that instance again, yes. that right. Article 8, that's clause 3 of the GFA regulations mm -hmm. on elections provides as follows. At the latest two days, at the latest, two days after the deadline of, for submission of candidature, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The elections committee shall inform in writing candidates who have failed to provide all the relevant documents in support of their candidature underline. and grant them another three days fail to complete to, the application. To, underline, fail to what? Fail to provide all the relevant, all the documents. relevant documents. So the committee goes on to say that the, this is not applicable to George Freer because mm. in submitting all his documents, he did not leave any out. Good. He has submitted every document that they want. Thank you. So with them, this... Uh, um, Part of the law doesn't apply At to all. him being called to this. It is clear. Yeah. That's what they state. It is very clear. That's which, what the appeal holds. Hold that, that's what the appeal. Which article are they quoting? No, but it's my time. It's my time. Okay. You had your time. Which article? I mean, I'll, give you I'll, give you I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. You had your time. Please you see, make your point. It's clear. The regulations are very clear. For you to be called to come and rectify your documentation, it is when you've not been able to submit a complete list of documents that are being required of. In this case. <clears throat> In this instant case of George Free, is it the case that he left out a certain document? The answer is no. He produced all the documents that they are looking for. So this is not applicable. So that's what I'm saying that you can make all the emotional and sentiment, uh, sentimental arguments, but when it comes to the gamut of the issue, he had six. you'll be found wanting. He had six people. Uh, that, that's not even relevant. Can you wait. The form, like a, the form, ambush process. The, the problem is that George Freire, unfortunately, mm -hmm. in my opinion, and per the rulings, has been let down by people who were manning this procedure for him. And I'll use myself as an example. I was the one in charge of ensuring the form of Keto Kriku was mm -hmm. well endorsed. Mm -hmm. After I've done my work, mm -hmm. in fact, I appeared before a panel mm -hmm. for them to vet the process. Mm -hmm. Each individual who was on Keto Kriku's form, mm -hmm. okay. I was asked stringent questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. This person, have you checked the CMS system? Is he a signatory to the club in which it has Who invited to? you? Who, 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 who are those asking those questions? I said, my panel. Okay. My okay, panel, okay. A panel, an internal panel. I'm just giving you a, okay, okay, what okay. I went to okay. as somebody okay. who was. 
So you fill the form so, pocket. Yes. Okay. I, I, I superintended over, in fact, I did the same, I had the privilege to do the same in the last elections. Okay. And I was given the responsibility to ensure that the form has been filled and all the relevant documents have been guarded. So after, I just didn't go and submit it. I appeared before an internal panel mm -hmm. where they asked me stringent questions. This person who has endorsed the <coughs> form is the person Eligible. who he claims he is. Yeah. For instance, if the person says he's general manager, mm -hmm. have you checked the company uh, records at the registrar general, whether indeed the yeah. person claims to be general manager is indeed the general manager, then they'll take. Okay. You go into the records of the GFA, mm -hmm. the Connect system, you ask the IT people, this person claims he is general manager of this club. Is okay. it in their system or in your records that he is what he is? Then we click. So I suspect, based on this experience that I've had, I suspect mm -hmm. that unfortunately for George Free, perhaps this level of due diligence was not done. <laughs> because if it was done, <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand how come mm -hmm. somebody who per the ruling, okay. who is not a director of the club, you will provide. signed signed as a director of a club. You will provide where, the video where, evidence. Where, where it was the clear. The man wrote to you. Where it is clear. Mm -hmm. then you can now, the registrar the general department, when you want to check mm -hmm. directors of companies, mm -hmm. it's very, very easy. The, I mean, hold on. Button. Button. Huh. Button. You, you can't check. Button. Hold on. Yeah. Amanda yeah. Clinton raised a very interesting concern <laughs> that her time, uh -huh. she did a similar mistake mm -hmm. where one of her endorsement or the persons the, the people who endorsed her one of them had an issue but yeah. and she was called behind the scenes oh, no to rectify that because okay. so we're that privilege yes. and it's, it's clear so this is precedence yeah it's not it's not yeah i'm bullshit hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let me 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 Let's listen to the voice. The I, 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 I'll play her voice. The Hold fact on. that somebody has run a red light mm -hmm. and that. wasn't caught by police. Look at that. Doesn't mean if you run look a red light that. and your justification is that look the at person that. who came but before that. But that's that. inconsistent. Hold on. Please, let me flow. Oh, no more. Allow me. When you were when you're speaking, no, you gave me a caution. Please, allow me. The fact of the matter is that the fact that you were given a pass in the pass does not mean that when somebody infringes today, the rule shouldn't be applied. And that's why I come back to the gamut of the issue. But hold on, I mean, yes. is, that, is that not to say yes. that the FA has no consistent rules and FA doesn't follow its own rules? You should be surrender. applauding the FA today Look that, that they are upholding the rules and regulations of the game. That's what you should be doing. Look at this man. That's what you should be doing. Wow, you should be applauding so, so the FA. So four years ago, it was fine to I let I'm Amanda not saying it's fine. If so that I, is eventually, if I, that is the input of what you are I, saying. If I had wins. So, so, so I, I, yes. I, I, do you agree that based on that precedence, George Free can go to court with this? No, he can't. Because the... What do you mean he cannot? What do you mean he cannot? He gives someone a lifeline. He gives someone a lifeline to rectify. No. Mm -hmm. One thing you also don't mm -hmm. understand is that the elections committee is not a judicial component or a judicial arm of the FA. The, 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 court, the court, court will compel them to act. Will you allow me, please? Please. Finish. Make your point. Make your point. The elections committee is an adult committee, just like um, the club licensing committee. Mm -hmm. They don't have judicial powers. Their decisions mm -hmm. are not binding judicial in terms of legal okay. on okay. the FA. They are okay. not. The legal entities of the FA are clear. The disciplinary committee, mm -hmm. the ethics, ethics committee, and then the appeals it's committee. Okay. is clear. Okay. So mm -hmm. decisions of the uh, elections committee cannot be said as mm -hmm. legal precedent. It's just okay. Okay. Sorry, hold on. I'll it's give you a chance to okay. Let's listen to Amanda Clinton okay. speak about okay. this issue. Yes, we'll come yes, back yes, and yes, continue. Yes, yes. This matter could have been cured um, procedurally um, because the matter was cured for me four years ago. And I say this because one of my signatories um, didn't rank to sign. And I, I literally just got a courtesy phone call um, two within, I think, 24 hours, replace that person because it's something I was unaware of in terms of that person didn't have a rank to sign. So um, it, it really is a matter that could have been cured at first instance with a courtesy call mm. because optics-wise, it's going to look really bad for, for Kurt. I think, hold on, I think that Amanda Clinton makes it clear. She says that even hers was 24 hours before yeah. Yeah, and so she was yeah. given... 
and the court heard. No, 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 I mean, I mean, I, no I, 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 I think that. So you are saying, mm-hmm. so is, it, I, I, is it your position um, that it, when mm-hmm. rules are breaking, we should give people a pass? No, I'm not saying that. Nobody's breaking rules here. Hold on, hold on. I'm giving you. Nobody's breaking rules here. Hold on, hold on. Is it? Is it? There's a difference between. Not not yeah. doing the appropriate thing or following following right procedure okay. mm-hmm. or making mistakes mm-hmm. in the and process of following right procedure. So you you and Nimili, ah. you're like are telling me today ah. that somebody who is purporting to be president of the Ghana Football Association. Look at what you are saying. Highest position in football. The highest position in the land. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And the person is not able to fill and form. Land. And land, from land, we want to give our football to this person. That's are, what you are, are you telling me that's that what you are suggesting to us? When Nana could not do Ajima Rollins, this has started to do when Nana could do. What? Hold on, hold on. Listen, so. Hold on. I'm not football. Let's, I'm talking let's, football. Let's, let's talk about it. I'm, I'm wrapping football. up. I'm wrapping up this topic in yes. two minutes. Yeah. In two minutes. Yeah. I mean, I give you thirty seconds to wrap up your point. Yes. From what we've heard from Amanda Clinton, yes. it is clear that this Georgia Free situation but is I mean, not peculiar. Yeah. This is not a strange no. situation. This is mm-hmm. something that happens. And if you want to go on the tangent of Yo, so before, oh, if you want to be president, you shouldn't make Odo this mistake. Odo there was disqualified on procedural ground when he was trying to run for FA president. No, so. Ah. Okay. No, so. Do you know no, different so, context? Different context. context. Whether, whatever the context is, he didn't look, meet the look, criteria. Fair different. enough. Okay. I think, I think he's made a point. The, point the, made. the final point mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. he has every right. Look, me, I'm a, I'm a Sucker for rules and regulations. If they say they are going to cast mm-hmm. or they are going to use any legal remedy that's available to them, mm-hmm. fair deal. They have every right to pursue this case to its logical conclusion. Mm-hmm. But I can give you a, 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 a certain a certain prediction. Mm-hmm. A certain prediction based on what I have seen, based on precedents that I have read about rulings about these things, mm-hmm. and based on the fact of the matter mm-hmm. that indeed there was infraction. In fact. In this, in this appeal, he even admitted to it that he has even made an infraction. So if you have even admitted to that it infraction... It is not true. Oh, prove it's it. in a, it's in a, prove it. Open, the, open his appeal and prove it. If you can get that first, coach, wrap up first. Let me move to a different look, topic. Sure look, sure look, sure the sure fact sure. of the matter is this. It is very decent to disguise yourself not to be talking for somebody by every actions of yours, every but input of yours. But that's what you're doing. But that's what you are doing. Yeah, I don't support Kent. No, but you, you are with George Free. I don't support so what you get You are with George Free. I say I don't support Kent. You are with George Free. I don't support Kent. Make your point. Make your point. We don't support Kent. We don't support Kent. We don't support Kent. We don't support Kent. The fact of the matter is, George Free doesn't say. The fact of the matter is, George Free doesn't say. Kent says you. I'm moving. I'm moving on. I'm moving on to a different topic. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't need. I know. I don't need interruption. If 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 one person can't speak at the time, I'll move on to the next topic. I mean, hold on, hold on. I allowed you to make your point. Let's nimbly make it. I'm moving on to the Champions League. Let me let me read a few messages and no no I'm I'm no 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 hold on. No hold on hold on hold on. Hold on. Make your point. Make your point. Make your point. The fact of the matter is this. Keto Kreku will not go on the post. That's not fact. And Minu should mark it That's on the no wall. Fact. That's no and fact. And two, like Amanda Clinton clearly said, this problem could have been solved mm-hmm. and we could have had a healthy con- uh, FA that election. That is a healthy contest. Oh, you let me learn. It is a healthy contest. Please don't you know what? I mean, don't, don't interrupt. Don't you see, don't finish. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. He was doing the same thing. I mean, don't do this. Don't do this. No. Make your point and let me go. Very simple. You are the best man for the job. Yeah. You have to be trusted. What are you afraid of? No amount of ambush. I'm stating it here emphatically. Like he rightly said, 
the Georgia Free Aid Camp will exploit every meaningful opportunity to them to make sure this. And like I was saying, Nana Kunidu Ajima Rawlings and people who wanted to rule this country, when they made mistakes on their form, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court of this country told the EC, go and give them back their forms and let them rectify it. mistake down. He has never made any not, not with common mistake before. Not with the form. You sit there. Not with the form. You know who Nasri. If you don't go, to let's listen to John the Free's lawyer. If you don't go to him, no believe You know who Nasri. Wait. If you look at paragraph two, I V, right? Paragraph two. In fact, if you look at paragraph two, I I I I I and I V of the decision. I don't know whether you have it with you. Even the elections committee admit in their decision that. They received six supporting documents. Their issue was that in the case of one of the supporting documents, the person had signed a statutory declaration. This was Nana Ame Yaomenu of the Chima 11 Wonders FC. He had signed a statutory declaration in support of George FEA, but had not endorsed the nomination form. And they say that Jeffrey Asari, who is the one in contention, had signed the form, and also a statutory declaration. But he was not a director of the company, so he wasn't mandated to sign. And um, our argument is that when you go to the statutes and the regulations on elections of the GFE, we don't even have formal documentation to be completed by such persons in order to indicate their support of a candidate or otherwise. So that if you find a member, we are talking about members, a member of the association, whose officer or director has communicated to you by one formal process of the, or the other that we are in support of this person's candidate, you ought to consider it in the context of eligibility to stand office. And eligibility to stand office has been what? Provided for in the statute. And they say that you would want to cross-check that person's application against what is required. And when the person falls short, let the person know that you this and this document, if you cannot provide it within this period, your application is deemed as invalid. Okay. Let me just, in conclusion, say that you right. you were disqualified, or your client was disqualified. He has appealed. That appeal has been dismissed. The yes. options are... You okay, it's, it's, it's not my opinion, actually. Let me read for you the, the statute, the 2019 statute. Yes, section, six, section 61, if you could go with yes. me. Arbitration. Yes, it right. says disputes in GFA or disputes affecting members of GFA, leagues, mm -hmm. members of leagues, clubs, members of clubs, players, and officials shall not be submitted to ordinary courts unless yes. the FIFA regulations, these statutes, or binding legal provisions specifically provided for or stipulate court recourse to ordinary courts. Such disputes mm -hmm. as specified in paragraph 1 shall be taken before the Court of Arbitration for Sports, CAS, in Lausanne, Switzerland. Good. Now, I'll, I'll just point two things out to you. You see, the Article 51 says this about it. And then you would go to Article 58, that deals with appeal. Article 58, 5 will tell you that. Apart from Lausanne, you can go to a national independent arbitration tribunal here in Ghana to deal with such an issue. So that is the first thing we need to note. That is not only cast that can deal with this matter. The second thing we need to note is that in the case we put before the appeals committee, we put a case including the breaches of the rules of natural justice, which by, by, by expensive law, and I don't want to bore you with uh, citations, the decisions have been that when it comes to allegations of the breach of the rules of natural justice, these contractual agreement between parties such as the statutes of the GFE would not override the decision or the authorities of the courts so, about them. So, good. So, in, in, in 10 seconds, you would explore courts in Ghana. You're not going to cast as yet. We are going to go to cast as far as the rules on GFE regulations are concerned. And that's the instructions I have. And we are exploring the situation where the courts in Ghana would explore the breaches of the rules of natural justice as far as your free years candidature to stand the office of president of GFA is concerned. Very well. So these are all available options.
So you heard lawyer Richmond Saka. He is counsel for Georgia Free. He says that they are not done yet. That's the um, last of this matter. Let me read a few messages and then I will move the conversation on. Um, Venus Edith Ishan says, Good evening, Sports Panorama. I'm stuck in traffic, but I'm enjoying the show. Big ups to the gentleman you do all. Adam from Kaswa says, Four years ago, um, it was okay to let Amanda correct her forms because they knew she, she wasn't going to win anyway. George can win, so they are not allowing him to do the same. What is Aminu talking about using uh, jumping red light scenario? Hashtag sports panorama. Starboy from La Paz says, the FA president is afraid of losing the election. That's why they are trying to disqualify George. But hey, that won't happen. Um, Tad, it's a hashtag George in or Coach Chris in. Ray from Abokovi says, um, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, but something doesn't make sense here. What happens if the case is adjourned again? What happens then to the date scheduled for the election? This is just funny. Explicit from Kasua says, anytime Aminu... Uh, comes, you can see it's clear. There's an agenda. Ghanaians are listening. <laughs> Elvis from Sakomono says, does Georgia Free have access to these same IT guys from the FA? If not, then someone is abusing his power. I, I, I think he made it clear that this was independence on their part. Oliver from North Kaneshi says, the way... <laughs> this, oh, the way Aminu shows up on the show lately makes me suspect he's there to do damage <laughs> control for Keto Kreko. No, no. Well, the truth is, we let Aminu onto the show because there are issues to which he possibly can provide context to. Exactly. If not, there's no reason exactly. to actually exactly. let so, exactly. so, so there's context to it. It just so happens that we are talking election. Yep. Exactly. So there's context yeah. to it. <laughs> Jesse from Sakumono says, Sports Panorama team, you guys should know by now the chaos that ensues anytime you admit a panel who claims to be passing through. Hmm. Yao from Spintex says, so Ketokriku, is, so is Ketokriku even happy that no one is contesting him? Osman from Tema Bethlehem says, if the FA president thinks he has done a good job over the years, why is he afraid? We are joking in this country. So Alex Duane in London says, Kett running the FA like his property. However, Liverpool will win on Sunday. Um, this one says, it's a wet evening, but nothing will interfere with the top sports show in the world. Meanwhile, Kett wants to go on a post so that he will kill our beautiful game. Lipu Mama says, Onana, what's my name? Listening to you live. From a break. Um, Chris and Evans from Koforidia says, Arsenal, we are back in the Champions League and we are here to take it all. Tottenham <coughs> won't know what I will hit them on Sunday. Greetings to my uncle, Mikel Ateta, and my second uncle, Evans Fuchu. <laughs> Man, sorry, I'm sorry, interesting stuff. Ebenezer from Nungwa Brigade, taste fried rice joint. Says, God willing, Arsenal, the Ghanaians will beat Spurs this Sunday. Most new coaches get a beating when they come against Arsenal for the first time in the EPL at the Emirates. Lawrence from Koferi again says, what's up with Van de Beek? Okay, let's talk about the Champions League. Match week one started. Okay, hold on. You see, um, there's a case that I want to refer to. Oh, no, no, I've, I've moved on. I'm just just for education. Why are you going to again? No, no, you can't speak no, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Let's go for it. Yo, it's fine. It's fine. I'm done. Kill everything. No, it will not. No, it will not. Nathan. No, no. Let's 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 move it on. Let's talk about the Champions League. Um. Big games this week. Salis is in the Champions League. I was happy about Salis Abdul Samet in the Champions League. His team won, I believe. Again, they drew. Yes, they drew with Sevilla. Yes, they drew with Sevilla in that one. Um, which game? Which game caught your eye this week? Lots of games. I have a game that I want to talk about. Which game caught your eye? Okay, so I was. Um, I first Bayern watched Munich the, United. I mean, I watched that game for very obvious reasons. I watched the the Real Madrid Union Berlin game. Yeah. And it was it was it was interesting. Bellingham make boys drink water. <laughs> it was interesting seeing how Union Berlin first time in Europe mm -hmm. they were resolute at the very 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 end. But you can't be resolute against Real Madrid and still th and think that you've got the job in the bag when the referee hasn't blown the whistle. And Real Madrid were persistent and they got their goal. And thumbs up to Jude Bellingham. I think he's having an enchanted start to life as a Real Madrid player. When you coming to a team for big money. Mm -hmm. Benzema has left. You are the hottest young player probably in world football. 
and you look like you were made to play for Real Madrid. That's yeah. it's brilliant. Lots of players have played for this club and have struggled initially to settle. Jude Bellingham looks very, very comfortable. He looks like he's enjoying his time in Spain. And thumbs up to him. I'm happy that he's showing his capability, showing his ability on the biggest stage. He's not faced by anything. And I think that whereas we we'll typically say young players need a certain environment mm -hmm. in which they have to grow and develop, Be Bellingham almost looks like he's made for the big stage. And it's lovely seeing him feature and score and mm -hmm. just give Real Madrid a boost. But I do get worried, though, for Real Madrid. I still think that they need to look at their team, especially finding a reliable goal scorer. They cannot keep getting saved by Jude Bellingham. I'm not saying that his scoring goals serious, is a, it's a serious, bad thing. No, serious issue. it's not a bad thing. But they need to find other people to share the least, goal scoring. Definitely. In at least four... They need At least to. three of the last four games they've played, yeah, he's had they, to rescue. They really, really need to. Yeah. Because I feel that it could hamper them as the season goes on. It could be a major headache for them when they can't get Jude Bellingham to get into those positions, you know, and, and score. Because over the weekend, they also had to do a comeback win against Sociedad. And I enjoyed watching the first half especially. But I think Real Madrid, they are growing as a team, but that... Karim Benzema hole is, is, is very, very glaring. Mm. They are really struggling to find somebody to fill that space and they need to think about what they will do to find more goals to help them win games this season. Evans? Well, I'll look at the Manchester City team uh, for the reason that I wanted to see how they were going to start this title defence. And uh, for me, there's one player who is not talked much about, but uh, I'll focus on him, Julian Alvarez. I think that um, from last season, where he spent most time on the bench, coming in as that direct replacement for Elin Haaland, this around, I think Pep Guardiola has found something wonderful to do with him, playing as a number ten sometimes, mm -hmm. also playing as the man to help Elin Haaland. So even when they don't, when Elin Alvarez can do, he can even be a goalkeeper if you need him to. Sorry, when they don't get the goals from Haaland, he's always there to supply the goals for them and assist as well. And I think that this season he could be. They are plan B in, 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 in serious matches. And that could be something to look out for. Mm. For this Man City team, anyone out there um, who thought that, oh, okay, with the departures they had, the team was going to show some sort of um, difficulties. They've shown that they are still up there. I think that they, their level hasn't dropped that much. And for me, it's it looks like just match week one, though, but they are the huge favourites already mm -hmm. to try and go all the way. To, I think they can do the semi-final, at least a semi-final Sports this season. Look at what they they did. Yes, against West Ham Belgrade, they con they had lots of chances in the first half. Shout out to Osman first, Bukari. Osman Bukari scored in that. <laughs> Osman Bukari is big time, man. Like, the run, listen, bro, the listen. Finish like, and I, all that. I, I've watched the, yeah. his his team. I know have won. Yeah. But I watch him every time in like a big game. He's Remember the World Cup, right? Exactly. And he was like, there. This guy's like always ready. Like yeah. take responsibility. Give me the ball. And I've seen players mm -hmm. lose composure. Or with that in like very crying situations. It doesn't he's matter. Always, like he's he's out there uh, having fun. For me, for, for me, I think that yeah. it's a matter of time before he moves into the bigger European yeah. leagues because he, he showed what he can do. Yeah, he's big. And time. for me, I think looking at what's the likes of uh, Kamaldin Suleimane, the chances they had to mm -hmm. try and come to the EPL. Osman Bukari looks like very soon, very very soon, he can make a huge name for himself there. Mm -hmm. But on the game, I think Man City are still the team to beat. Yes, Madrid will always be a huge team in the Champions League. The uh, Manchester United side, don't write them off. But I, I feel that this City team will not be easy to eliminate from this Champions League. I, I like what they are doing so far. Mm -hmm. Match week one already, but I think they are going to be a hell of a team to eliminate from this season's Champions League. There's nobody better to tell us about United than yeah. Coach Nimi. I, I, In fact, I, people I, have been... I, 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 have, I just wanted to give Joao Felix... Some shout-outs there. Quick shout People have been I'm, calling me all I, I, saying, Ben, Ben, I, want, I need coach to tell me ben, what ben, is happening ben, with Ten Hag. Let's finish the Joao Felix what is matter. Happening? Like, <laughs> your, team, your, team, your, team, your team spent five, less than five million. We won't talk about it. Ah, they gave you the chance People to talk spent about money. Team. No, no, see, you left Joao Felix. I'm sorry, right, 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 right now, you want to do I'm Adama right. Lizard on Joao Felix. Nathan left Man City. Manchester United as well. But the key thing is this. Nathan, you won't talk about it. I love how life... No, 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 that's not the point. I love how life... He asked me, I was have gone there, but, but he left it I'll you. See that but to you. I like how Joao Felix has settled at Barcelona. We must admit it; it's a good one for him. After all the struggles, this man hundred and thirty million. Go and pay them. They don't have money, my dear. Oh, so but he after all the struggles, <laughs> last season, last season, many thought that. Oh, at Chelsea, mm -hmm. he was hot, but he clearly he showed that it's early days yet. It's, it's, it's early no, days. No. You're jumping there. It's not like he has See, scored a hat trick we, or he has scored like five goals in two games. No, the point is that 
if a child will buy a car in future, yeah, well, he rides a tie. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you see, <laughs> 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 you probably misbehave. Where, where you going? Hear this thing for you? They like us. But on the real look, look, I look at Joao Felix. Yeah, he looks like he, this is the. He kind looks of, liberated. Yeah, he looks yeah. free. Yeah. No, but me, and Robert Lewandowski will be very happy. Having Joao Felix. Me, me, they, I'm, me they, I'm saying this again. Mm-hmm. I don't care how elegant he looks. I don't care how well how free he looks in yeah. this team. I would judge Joao Felix by numbers. Okay. And when Joao Felix broke oh, no, that, that's the scene, so when he broke onto the scene, his contemporaries were Ellen Holland yeah. and Kylian Mbappe. Agreed. He, he needs to start putting up Mbappe and, and Haaland numbers. If not, he should be in the back bench. Noted. Good. United. No more. You went into the game with a very a very thin squad. Agreed. Yeah, no, people people say I should tell you that that excuse that it is the glazer they won't buy no, it again. No. They say you're not doing They say no, hold on, hold on. tell me <laughs> what I should say about but my They say that I'm not the sort of person who can sit at home <laughs> and do it. No, no I'm not saying my way. But people also say that uh-huh. you are absorbing Ten Hag of blame when he's United done nothing, United clearly he's done nothing. have coaching issues. He's me. Who I, 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 are you saying Ten Hag has been who are, flawless? Who are saying Ten Hag has got coaching issues? I, I, are you saying that? I need to give some. Hold on. So, ah, so hold, hold on. I, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me let me ask this. Right? Go are ahead. you saying that the Champions League game against Bayern Munich was lost because Bayern were just superior on the day and it was not no. an issue between? They were free. Coaching. They were free giveaway. Ben, I just want to. I want to ask Chris. I think you are not asking the question. Okay. Bro. What is this? What I think mm-hmm. you should ask him that. Spurs versus Man United. Uh-huh. United conceded from a cutback. That's right. They conceded two against Brighton from a cutback. That's right. Hmm. They conceded one against Bayern Munich from a cutback. That's so right. clearly, That's there impressive. are structural problems with the team. I don't think so. Let me tell you. You it, cannot it, it, concede it has got four nothing to do with of four, four goals of the it same has got, It has every. The problem but, is but, that. But there's a pattern. No, no, no. There's a pattern that I believe this coach mm-hmm. has identified. And there's a pattern that I believe if you study carefully, mm-hmm. you realize that one player has always gone to sleep on those cutbacks. Nathan know who the player is. Yeah, yes. It's Ericsson. He's gone to sleep on those cutbacks. Has the man a choice to change everything as we speak? No. Because at the end of the day, mm-hmm. you go with <laughs> to the Alliance. Chale, you choke, I mean. Chale, why? <laughs> you see? <laughs> when you you go to the Alliance Arena, look, you should be at full strength. Even if you are at full strength, mm-hmm. you and I know that is not an easy place to go. United started the game absolutely brilliantly. Truth be told, mm-hmm. in the first five minutes, we should have scored. United didn't score. On t- by minute, first goal came against the run of play. True or false? Mm-hmm. True. Very true. You think if Bayern Munich were given as such goals, we won't be beating them like six? So the second goal, Dalo should have done better. How do you blame Ten Hag on that? If that was for Bissaka, there's no way Musiala is even getting into the box with that ball. You know for a fact. But in a real Musiala had Casimiro all over the time. No, as for Casimiro, he's doing the point. job of two or three people in midfield. Ericsson will not win any tackle. That is why today Ten Hag says that it is very likely that the bull, the bulldozer. <laughs> you understand? The man who, who, t- who is this? No, but you know now. Oh, I don't know. Ah, you tell me. Ah, brother. Oh no! Oh no! In check, we are check. Ah, brother. In check, we are check. Ah, brother. In check, we are check. Okay, so quick update. Quick update Recently. again. Inaki Williams has scored. Oh, yeah. It's Super. Deportivo Alaves against Bilbao. Only He's just got to go. Jeremy K. Dash no Achi Obole. K. Babi Kudus Bad Boy 360. Jordan Achi Pass. Jordan. Pass. No more Kevin Yakame. I'm a cheap idea. Pass no Obo Awo. Eta. So recently, I heard a Moroccan journalist teaching <laughs> some people how to pronounce Man United's Moroccan midfielder's name. What are your friends saying? So. This is what I heard. Charlie, they shouldn't misbehave. Sofian. Uh-huh. Sofian. Sofian. I'm Robert. I'm Robert. Sofian. I'm Robert. When I come back, language is a bit. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Sofian. I'm Sofian. Robert. Sofian. Not, I'm, I'm Robert. Robert. I'm Robert. I'm Robert. Okay, I'm Robert. I'm Robert. Okay, I'm Robert. I'm Robert. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll still call him I'm Robert. Anyway. <laughs> you see? So if you look at that game again, 
clearly, the first 22, 25 minutes, United were in total charge. But you are isolating this game. No, United, I'm not isolating it. United have big problems. Or, or you don't believe Look, that? I will only accept... It's, it's, I'm coming. Mm -hmm, I will mm -hmm. only accept that United has got problems. Mm -hmm. If and only if... Mm -hmm. Amrabat comes into this thing. Look, mm -hmm. I've looked at the team tactically mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. realized that there's a big hole yeah. that Ericsson is creating. He's not won any tackle. Though. In all the games he's played, he's not, how can you be in midfield? If I'm the coach and he's in midfield, how can a midfielder not put in the tackle and win only even one? Clearly, Casimero, the DM, Casimero in the box, Casimero on the right, Casimero scoring goals. Look, he's human. He's 30 years. He will get Baumis, he will run down. You wait. When Amabat starts playing, hopefully tomorrow, from the way things are being you know, <laughs> he has a back so, injury. I don't think no, he'll be no, in tomorrow. I mean, back injury, I mean, is that your prayers? No, I'm just saying, but I, I, he's not been cleared. He's been cleared. <laughs> I don't clear him. No, I listened to Tenha today. Is it, he is said he'll train this info. So he'll be in the last part. He said he'll train this and then we'll, see. And then we'll see. see. Okay, fair. Yes. fair. Look, I'm not going to sit here and put as uh, give excuses as to why my United lost. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, in the in, in United current state, mm -hmm. to all the United fans, listen to me. Mm -hmm. Look, it will not be smooth. It will be rough. There will be rough. Your game club came to Liverpool. It took him four to five seasons before he even won Shamupulu. You keep comparing. No, I'm not comparing. Because if it is United, it has to be blown out of proportion. That, hey, ten had this, ten had that, ten had this, ten had that. When Jordan Clock came, no, it took see. him four seasons. But, but you see, you could, have, you could have had five seasons I'm for coming. one coach, but you I'm keep sucking coming. your coach. So therefore, you keep so therefore I will not allow people to say Ten Hag should be sacked. Because when I know very well that Club, Pep Guardiola and Co. know that the longer he stays there, the more he's going to put an end to their dominance. That is factual. Let me ask you another he question. He came in the first season. Mm -hmm. He won... The Carabao Cup, he plays Ted, he plays in the uh, he, um, uh, FA Cup final. Yeah. One of the last time a United coach did that when I, since Alex Ferguson left. Fair. Numbers don't lie. So what I'm saying is this. The last If United to were Jose. to go, Jose yeah, Jose in his Jose first season, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Europa League. Europa League. Yeah. You see, nobody, look, nobody's saying that. If United goes to the uh, Alliance Arena mm -hmm. and God beat 4-3, what is the news about that? What is what, what is the news about that? There should be no news about that. Mm -hmm. Because you look at the opposition, on their day, they are capable of beating any team 4-0. Mm -hmm. The Real Madrid, the Man City, when Bayern Munich turns up, they can match up to any... We saw yeah. Bayern Munich against Man City last week. Coach, you it admit, took individual error. You admit, if there was any chance of United ever beating... I mean, this would have probably now. This, no, but, not but, when. But not when. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. I mean, no, 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 no. no, no. You, you, are, you are rather mistaken. Not yeah. when United went into the game with nine to ten of their first players not on the pitch. Yeah, but when, when will you have the opportunity to play no, a Bayern Munich side? That this is, is Bayern Munich first eleven. Oh. But they have been poor. They have started been poor. Well. United went there on balance of the game. Class is permanent. That's what I'm saying. That on balance of the game, there were individual errors. How can a coach fix that? How can you as a coach fix what Onana did? How can you as a coach mm -hmm. fix what Ericsson did? So you don't blame the manager. But then again, right? The coach is the leader because if the team wins, the coach gets the plot. That is, you see, when the team wins, mm -hmm. the coach most often than none yeah. don't get the plot alone. Fair. The players take their fish. But when they lose, especially when it is on individual error, mm -hmm. then you want to blame the coach. Look, me and to every United fan out there, we have the best coach we need to have at this current moment. Mm. Eric Ten Hag will be supported. Eric Ten Hag will coach this team to the next level. United tomorrow, we are playing against Burnley. I'm not happy. United have lost their, their last, three games. last three games. Mm -hmm. Ten Hag said we should look at ourselves in the mirror and demand a bit more. So this thing will go forward. It's not going to be that smooth. Look, we lost against Bayern Munich. Yeah. When the draw was made in Ketia, if you were to ask me, Coach Nimli, what game of all the games that you think would be very dangerous for you, mm -hmm. that you could, which game do you think I would have mentioned? Bayern. Simple. So what is the 
news. It was not a humiliation. 4 3. The problem I have is that you cannot go to the Alliance Arena and score three goals and not get at least a result. Yeah. Not, not get at least a draw. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Not, not so, a lot of teams will score three, three goals at the Alliance Arena. Enemy, I mean. Let me even look yeah. at them. my last point. Yeah. We scored proper goals. Uh, why? What by me? Let's call the way. Let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. Let me explain. What are you talking about? Let me explain. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me explain. I, I, I want to hear the statistics behind We score proper goals. We, 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 we gifted them two goals. <laughs> so what? So that one doesn't count. No, 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 no. That's what. Let me explain. In context. Look, on it's any funny. other day. On any other day, mm-hmm. would well, that ball be going past Onana? But it went past him. Oh, I'm saying no, that. Based, based on his current track record, I, I, yeah, I look, think everything goes past him. No, no, no it's not true. <laughs> not everything. Everything that goes past him has not has, has got nothing to do with him. All the goals, my since he came to United, yeah. this is the only goal he's conceded where you can pinpoint at him. Mm-hmm. The rest are goals that he. And if you go and put David De Gea and Onana together, there, so they will concede. Two of them will concede. No, I was saying, boy, we won't fail our team. No, no, Tommy G, we be any. I'm a team where we are blue. I'm a man now. I'm a mobile. That I'm a new Osani. That I'm a new Osani. We fell my eye here. We fell my eye here, me. You know, you know, said something, and, and you also made a point. Yeah. And I'll say this Manchester United, look, it's a stick or twist situation. There is something very wrong at Manchester United, and it will take two things. Mm-hmm. One, so, maybe, okay, maybe a change in ownership, whatever. Mm-hmm. But the more immediate oh, that is thing, fundamental. the more immediate thing. It's a manager who can stand his yes. ground, mm-hmm. right? And this player power and thing fight that all these things because already been today. Mm-hmm. The latest twist in the story is that, according to some people, their favoritism, the players are beginning to do. And I'm saying that Manchester mm-hmm. United, as an institution, mm-hmm. if they want to kill this player power thing, yeah, the last thing they should think of doing is getting rid of Eric Ten Hag. And this is why I say so. For, so that for the so far, the president has been set. Yes. So that for the first time ever, players mm-hmm. will see that. See, the manager has backing. He has exactly. power. So we need to conform. Because I agree, there are certain times. For example, the loss to Brighton is... I completely blame Eric Ten Hag for the loss against Brighton. Because I feel that tactically, things broke down. Mm-hmm. He did not react to what Roberto Di Zerbi did. And he allowed the game to travel away from him. Mm. So granted, the Brighton loss is on him. But when I look at everything that is happening, and I'll draw a certain allusion. If you are in a cold room, Mm -hmm. or you are in a warm room, Ben, and we take a block of ice, and we put it down, Mm -hmm. we want, let's say the ice block is at minus 300 degrees, and you want it to melt to get to zero degrees, you Mm -hmm. put it in a room. Mm -hmm. The ice block will not melt in a minute. No, it takes time. It will take time. Now, Man United are this ice block that the people want to melt into water. <laughs> but ice block theory. You see, gradually energy is being it supplied. It will take time. The energy that is being supplied to work. With, let me talk a bit chemistry here. Mm. The energy that is being supplied okay. will be absorbed by the solid particles. Mm. And the absorption of that solid particles of the energy mm-hmm. will now convert the energy into what? Kinetic energy. Once it goes kinetic, hey. the particles will now begin to vibrate a bit more Physics, faster. Physics, faster, physics faster, FC. Faster, chemistry. Faster, hey. faster, faster. As they physics, vibrate right. physics. a bit more faster about their fixed position, a time will come where the energy absorbed will be just enough to overcome hmm. the force of attraction holding the solid particles hey, together. Manchester and when United. that happens, when that happens, then... Once that force is broken, mm-hmm. the particles will now so, slide over see. each other then, into the so, liquid so, state. So the point they I'm will making is this. United have got to steady other teams. Yes. Mm-hmm. If they want this to work, mm-hmm. what they need is time because it's this sucking cycle, it will not change Maguire anything. Go, um, Scott, uh, Scott McTominay will go. They, they are the ones doing the leaks because they think that they are not giving the... Chris, as, for, Baya, as for... Maguire, Baya, Sancho, by oh, actually, I'm a fan. As for players leaking things, I don't yeah. even want to believe that. The point I'm making is... Oh, it's true. Tommy, you, you know, saw what he did against Bayern Munich. No project mm-hmm. has ever succeeded, Ben. 
when every time there's this chop and change business. How? So if Man United want this to work, they need some consistency. That consistency can't come with players. Mm -hmm. I feel that consistency has to come with Managers. backing this and saying that, you know what? Have this team. We are sticking through no, this they, guy. You see, I feel that if they can clamp down on player mm -hmm. power, mm -hmm. half the problems are solved. Then they can deal with the rest. Again, I'm not absorbing Eric Ten Hag, but I still think he also needs to look at himself mm -hmm. as a manager and start to ask simple questions. Am I playing the right way? When I look at these players, mm -hmm. am I finding a style that helps them succeed? Because in, in there, everybody wants success. The reason why he's struggling is that now he wants them to do something very different. And they are all struggling to get it going. So I feel that they are just moving parts that need to come together. But United need to understand. Mm -hmm. And especially the United fans, they need to understand that it will be very well, painful. Not... It will be very painful. Be there will be seasons where United will not finish in the top four. That'll be, we'll finish in the top four. <laughs> Charlie? Let me tell you something. Why uh, your team know the first eh? That'd be exactly. good term physics lecture. <laughs> Why not be... Oh, no, I was trying to explain. The periodic table see, FC. Nah, I didn't say periodic table. <laughs> all, all that I said had got nothing to do with periodic table. See, as I'm saying that, you see, it has got nothing to do with periodic table. My team is doing well. Exactly. I don't need to go you through all this night kinetic football. energy. No, no, uh, I'm trying to explain. Nah, nah, the, and I'm a catch the, of the, 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 the change, change is... is <laughs> <laughs> they are not looking for another player to come in. He's our player. Let me tell you United fans something. This is what I think. This is. I don't think they're getting it wrong, but as a big team... This mentality of we need time yeah. to get back to that. I think it is no, club but you giving time. But, but, you need club ben, should have been sacked ben, after two years. Side, don't give club. Ben, on the flip you should side, have been sacked after three years. Ben, on the flip yeah. side too, the haste to getting back is problematic. Top, it's what is causing it's what United is causing to struggle. The, because you've, you've been left behind I for think, 10 years. I think that you're not good. I think you've been left behind. The gap is huge. I think United have spent almost 10 years buying bad players. That's it. That is true. That is true. And you see, you, if you buy, if you get one summer right, you, your team will back, will be back at it. No, no, no. Look, if you, we I'm need three summers. If you look at uh, this, three, you listen to three, three summers. You listen to the coach. coach. Then you listen to the coach. But who is when, waiting for you in three seasons? No, but when I say three, three, three seasons, seasons, but the other teams you are competing look, with, they are getting coming. better. See, I'm, coming. I'm coming. When I say three seasons, you're not going to buy 11 players in three seasons. Or 12 players in three. Fair. Once, at once. You need to, because look, the problem was that Gangant one. It was a huge problem. And that needed to be solved gradually. Mm -hmm. Look, go and count the number of players who have left Man United since uh, the, the season that for Pogba and Cavani up to now. United have let go of almost close to 20, 21 players. Mm -hmm. How many of them have been brought in? Ten Hag came in, he's brought on board 16. Out of the 16, eight are known players. Eight of them are alone, so they've gone back. Mm -hmm. So if you count Ten Hag signing, he's had only eight signings to his disposal. How does he fix the problem with that? And he's giving you Champions League football at the very first time of action. He's won the Carabao Cup. He's played in the FA Cup final. We know. We, we are sport. We, we need Alice Ferguson supporters. So we are staying in that mood. But don't worry. It will come back very soon. Atani will land. Physics FC. <laughs> well, for me, I think I disagree with Coach on the oh, no, Eric Ten Hag angle. I didn't say anything See, for you to agree with me. Sure. I'm talking about my team. Obviously, I disagree with you. We were there crying about Javis <laughs> a few times. Make, make your own opinion. Sure. So for me, Eric Ten Hag needs to take some blame for what is happening to the club at the moment. Yeah, that's true. yeah he needs to take some blame. How? He can't be he absorbed. Said, well, should let the ball go. He, no, no. See, he can't <laughs> no, be absorbed from what's happening at Man United, though. But and and going on, I think that with with their signings and all that, for me, it's not just about just needing three seasons to get back. Did hmm. you forget about that? Oh, we need three seasons to get back. We we need we, three we, solid we, transfer we've seen this. we've seen. Let me use Spurs as, 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 as an example. Just Tottenham or Spurs. A manager comes in mm -hmm. and look at the transformation. Yeah, the season hasn't ended, though, but, but, they, but, they, but they are up and running. See, no, 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 five matches, really but they are up and running. Let's really see what Ange Postecoglou wants to do with this team. Okay. Mm. It's, it's, it's so you don't see obvious. what Ten Hag wants to do. United fans are confused. I've seen, I've seen your, your, fans, see, your fans on social media always are forget complaining more, forget that more, they don't see what Ten Hag uh, don't see. is doing. They Haggy. don't see. People Haggy. Don't, people don't, they say Haggy. They say, they say Haggy is confused. They want to see. Nine to ten players injured. People don't see. Gigi, finish so, your see, point. Let me move so, on. So, I think that the perception of, oh, by three seasons, they will rebuild and what come back team, stronger. What team? It's, it's, it's not that simple. What, what team? For me, in that three season that you think you are building, the rest also getting Let better. Let them go. What, what team? Right? And, and, and so, <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I feel that with oh, the Eric Ten Hag issues yeah. and, and all that, coach may disagree, but Eric Ten Hag 
He has to pay for the blame. He has to show that maybe of the guilt. maybe fifty percent of the problem of the blame goes to Ericton Hag. Thank you. Any day. Let me let me read some Any comments day. from our people. Any as, day. Let, me, let me let me read. Of the blame. Let me read some. Hold on, hold on. Fifty percent. Do you? Let me read. Let me read a few messages. Where we were when yeah. this man came on board. True, fair enough. You know, it's, it's okay. It, 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 it was like, so unfair. Let me move on to another thing. If, if you look at it, it's not another manager. It is not another manager. Yeah. Look, if this man had come last season, with this, yeah. look, if this man had come last season, but and United be honest, had not qualified for the Champions League, mm-hmm. and they had not won the Carabao mm-hmm. Cup, and they had not played in Africa, would, would you say he has failed? Yeah. Would you have said he has failed? If he had not, if he had not but played, looking at what he inherited, no. See, Fair enough. Let me, no, 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 let, let's make progress. Let me let me read some comments from YouTube. Michael Nyante says Arsenal is winning the Champions League. Nigga <laughs> son. <laughs> Amwako, is it Arsenal is winning the Champions League? Nigga son, nigga son. Amwako Emmanuel says, in as much as I disagree with Aminu, I love the way he calmly articulates his points. He prepared before coming. Cove Town Babe says, but guys are cool. Oh. See the way Coach and Aminu are still just in between themselves. If it was us girls, Anka won't talk again, no. Oh, they're friends, though. They're friends, though. They're friends, though. We'll see them after the show. This one here is from Emmanuel Eje. They just disagree on matters. Emmanuel Eje Boate says, What coaching issues? This agenda won't stand. People wanted us to keep Ole. Now they want us to sack Ten Hag. No, no, Lie, lie, we want him. He, he says, somebody says, he says Eric Ten Hag is not the issue. He is the issue. Ah, what what team? Okay, the issue. Bo, someone from okay, the issue. This one here. <laughs> this one here. Hold on. Let me just read a few more. Yeah. Alwyn Bruce says with Amrabat. According to how they say them. Back Amrabat. unless your team plays tracking and breaking <laughs> free. <laughs> you know what he says? Wow. He mm. says, please mention that we have over 1,000 people watching on YouTube. Oh, yeah. so, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to you guys, man. Family, Look, we do these things because Somebody, yeah. Awusanya Jacob says, I think coach should go to parliament because he can be a good MP with the way he's talking. So, Check, coach. You think MP's <laughs> job is talking? <laughs> no coach, wonder, no wonder. No wonder. No wonder. No wonder. No wonder. No wonder. Charlie, let me tell you about my Champions League Team I'm, I'm enjoying. Look, okay. guys, you tell us, cannot tell us. talk about Champions League. But why should you talk about Europa League? Ah, ah. Your team is <laughs> in Europa League. You have to talk about Europa League. I don't have a team. Hey! Do you watch your match? But then, I don't watch your match. Honest, you've, yeah. you've really had it in for no. people whose teams have but not been. That is what yeah. I mean. When we were playing on Thursday night football, you come and say, hey, because of Barcelona. What's the matter that he's going off? Charlie, real society down on my team. No, I'm coming. But Ben, on a real. I've adopted Real Sociedad. Okay. Oh, on a real, yeah, on a real. Yeah. Do you think mm-hmm. Liverpool should target winning the Europa League? Oh, they should. I or mean, you look, feel that is a distraction? No, no, it Maybe is not. Liverpool, now, they should have it in mind. <sighs> look, I think the Europa League, the way it is positioned, the caliber of teams in there, the caliber of players Liverpool have, I've seen Liverpool compete for a Premier League title and still compete for yeah. continental honours. I think okay. it's possible. It's just about managing those European games. Yeah. Klopp, has dropped the ball in a lot of those European games, finals, semi-finals. I, I mean, he's done won the Champions League as well. I, I, I definitely yeah. think Liverpool. Yeah. If if you are playing it, you should win. Should it. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 I think it also depends on the team. Mm-hmm. Not be dropping I, from the Champions I ask, League. You see, I those, ask, those, those, those I, ask, there. I think if if maybe the the big boys have a bad Champions League season, Liverpool are matching and they everybody. Drop, they drop have, they are matching everybody. Liverpool have enough quality yeah. and mentality. They are matching they everybody. 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 I ask because of how Liverpool have started the season. Mm-hmm. They started well. Mm-hmm. So, for example, assuming this performance continues yeah. and the difference between themselves and, Man City. and the title chasers, whoever they are, Man City, whoever, it, it will be Man City. Let's say, let's say by January. It's widened. No, no. Let's say by January. Mm-hmm. It's still neck and neck. It's neck and neck. That's why I ask because I, 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 what will Klopp now March. focus on? Okay. They Does he look chase a top four March. spot? I think January itself will be too early. early or yeah. until March. Yeah. Until March. Yeah. A, lo- a lot can okay. happen okay. from January. Yeah. A lot can happen. But yes, like I'm saying, I, I loved the uh, Real Society. That, I'm not sure how yeah, eventually that... Footballing yeah. team. I, I, look, yeah. I think it's it's happened over the last two and a half years. Just about when David Silva moved, moved from Manchester yeah, yeah, City. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm looking at their recruitment. So if you look at they and, Man. They and Real Madrid over yeah. the weekend, yeah. last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Boot for look, boot. Look, boot for boot. Look, at recru- look at the recruitment that has been done. Now, if you look at Oyazabal, I think he's their captain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's basically broken into the Spanish national team now as a regular. Yeah, exactly. He's become one of the best wingers in Europe as Absolutely. things stand now. Yeah. Look at a guy like Mikel Merino. Solid. Left-footed yeah. Left-footed. central midfielder. 
I'm I'm shocked he's still playing for Real, Real Sociedad because I've watched him for the national team passing long range shooting player, ball distribution. I'm like, so, hey, look, me, I, 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 like, come I like his composure under pressure. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's fantastic. And then there's the Japanese guy who came from Real Madrid. Kubo. 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 Takefusa Kubo. The way, the way he not met certain Tony Cruz. Nah, nah. <laughs> Baron next chair. Yeah. Look, it's Lenormand. Like, I, I think, I, I, I don't know what they did. They, they didn't used to have a lot of money. No, no, no. I'm no, not no. sure if it was the Isaac money or some of the monies they got that they reinvested in this team. But they, to look at them. they have a solid base. I think the average age in this team is just about they are 20, very young. 27. And then they um, have a bunch of youngsters, youngsters between yeah. 19 and about 21, about five, six of them, who I feel will be world beaters in the next two, three years. So my sleeper team, Real Sociedad, <laughs> whoever plays Thursday football is not your business. Oh, it's our business. Leave Thursday it's, football it's our business. to those see, who play Thursday football see, is not your it's business. Our business. Let's talk about it's North London. Business. Let's talk about North London. There's a derby this weekend. The first of the derbies. Ange is heading to the Emirates. Somebody <laughs> says, new coaches get baptized at the Emirates. Nathan, uh, big game, big game. Is, this is a big, this is Ange's biggest test. It, it will be Ange's biggest test. Because now he's coming up against a team that is Postecoglou. Charlie, don't do this. Charlie. Postecoglou. I love the name, sir. You know what? It's a mouthful. You know, if... if I mean, this... Hey, Petit, behave yourself over there. For students of sociology, if you... If you look at... A lot of Australians... So, when you look at Australia, they are those who bear the purely English names mm-hmm. that come from the English descent because mm-hmm. people of a lot of English prisoners were taken from England and yeah, sent, sent to there. that yeah. part of the world. Then you have the immigrants, so some people who are Italian, some people who are Greeks. Mm-hmm. So people like Nikirios, for example, he comes from a Greek yeah. line. Mark Definitely Fili-Kusis, sounds Greek, yeah. The tennis player of old and now Ansh Postekoglu. So yeah, that's, that's a bit of a, you know, some sociology. But look, it will be a tough test for him because now he's going to take on an Arsenal team that in the last year and a half to two years have been building mm-hmm. themselves mentality-wise, player quality-wise. They challenged Man City to a title pursuit last season. And I think they have grown. I think they've gone to another level. Mm. If you look at the team now, what they've added, Declan Rice, and, the, and minutes that players like Leo Trossard are getting, Martinelli, an absolutely brilliant weapon. Gabriel Jesus is back. Edin Ketia is still working hard. This is an Arsenal team that looks really set to, to mix it up with the big boys. Mm-hmm. And I think it will be a huge test for Spurs because even his, in terms of history, it goes against them. Exactly. The last Spurs win at the Emirates was in 2010. I remember I watched that game one Saturday afternoon That's in my crazy. house. In 2010. 2010. I remember that game. Younes Kabu scored the winner. It was a header. Hey, Charlie! That's I a tough <laughs> you remember Younes Kabu? Yeah. Oh, no hey. <laughs> Kabu. If Spurs have had some in their team. You know, hey, a hey. few months hey. later, hey. when this was hey. the 2010-2011 season. Hey. Hey. A few months hey. later hey. in the 2011 2012 Arsenal were smashing them 5-1 and 5-2 and things. So I feel that Spurs will really have a lot to handle on the day. And if there's anything I admire about Arsenal this time, it's that intensity when they play. They are almost relentless. It's almost as though they are going to score whether you like it or not. Mm-hmm. And I feel it is that intensity you need in a derby like this. Arsenal are confident. I'd love to see how Ansh Postecoglou reacts because Ansh Postecoglou ball is let's attack, let's attack, let's attack. Mm-hmm. On Sunday, he has to ask himself, what do I want to do? Do I want to match Arsenal boot for boot and get done? Or I want to hold off a bit and see what happens. And it will be a huge test for him tactically, yep. especially looking at the kind of players he has. I wonder if they want to play on the break, but it will be interesting to see what fight he gives Mikel Arteta on Sunday at, at the Emirates. I think yeah. they also need to look at, uh, at their defence. Best defence this season has been not the best. I think uh, Van de Ven coming in has not really solidified their defence as well. Their goalkeeper Vicario... He's good. He's good, but they need to work more on exactly. helping, helping him. A couple of yeah, times. helping him I mean, look, back and all that. I, I actually think that on the defensive side, they've turned out better than I thought they would, especially based on the first game of the season that I saw from them. I thought it was going to be a, li- a lot had more to. chaotic. One, once the man decided he would not start Eric Dyer. <laughs> that was it. So I think that was the problem. He's been stealing a living for at least the last season. He's been stealing a living for at least the last season. He's been stealing a living for at least the last season. 
time out. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Joshua from 37 says, Coach Nim Linier, Man United Chemistry Nier, we will use Bentley as scapegoat this weekend. I agree with Nathan. I think Ten Hag must stay, but he needs to sit up. It's Madame's birthday. Rabbi, prayers for my wife, Na Ajoko. Puka ready, Mijingo ready. I need a formula. Oh, that's your formula, gentlemen. Go out there and make us proud. Thank you. Puka FC. So that's the North London Derby this weekend. It's a big game. There's also West Ham versus Liverpool. That's a very interesting game. Kudus has a Kudus thing for scoring against Liverpool, Liverpool yeah. but it won't happen this oh, weekend. Oh, it will happen. No, no, right now, right now, we know what we are dealing with. See, those were ad hoc, ad hoc Champions League games. He's our David Moyes. If you play... He's got two goals this, and the Moyes this... Yeah. Of course, so um, he has to start in the league. Yeah. Because if your player is is that hot, yeah. he's proven that, look, this is the, his very first start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Start, he's first start, he's scoring two goals. I've said it, ask for Kudus. What's your problem? Ask for Kudus. No. If he's healthy... You know, and you will play him in the right position. Yeah, he'll, he'll he'll do the last night, Kudus played. He played. Ketons. He played in Bowen's position. Yep. But he kept coming diagonal. Yes. Yeah, so he played in Bowen's position when diagonal. Ben Rama played on the other side. That's the point I've always made. Kudus has to come. He will compete with Bowen, mm-hmm. and I don't think at Anfield Kudus will get the start. Now I don't think David Moyes favors Kudus over Paqueta. No, no not yet. No, no. Not, not, yet. Not, yet. Yeah, yeah, not yet. Not yet. The only position up for grabs is Ben Rama's position. And I don't I don't think Kudus wants to play from the left. left wing, no. So I think we'll give it a few more weeks to see how things settle. Exactly. But I think we could do starting well in the Europa League. This is my suspicion. I think he'll start to get a lot of those European minutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. He'll start to get a lot of those minutes more. And then depending on output, Moyes will have to make a tactical decision. Mm-hmm. That's right. And say, okay, do I want to go to top? Down to have Kudus there, but that means he's sacrificing some defensive st- yeah. solidity. But we'll see. But it was happy. I was happy just seeing that Kudus so got I his see, minutes. Kudus, 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 or a star. Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worried about him. For me, my bit. only problem is that mm-hmm. when he comes to the Black Stars, yeah. the coaches will have to get him to understand when to do what. Yeah. At mm. what point does he keep it? Mm-hmm. Does he keep it at fit and run with it? Yeah. At, at what point? Does he raise his head mm-hmm. and see the Naki Williams and see the pass? That is my problem. Yeah. If the, our coaches can sort that out, no mm-hmm. more. Ajay team me. Just have to do that. No, he had to. Ajay Hime team me. Let's, let's do small business Olympics if I do shout outs. Pichichi, okay. you have been interacting with the people. Ah. They have come through this week. Charlie. Mm-hmm. Danny Pichit, Alisa be a no Jamana me she Alisa Hotel, yeah? Big shout out to the people at Alisa Hotel. The Jamana session at the Olympics is huge. It's huge. I think it's one of my favorite things at Business Olympics. If you know, if you know the number of companies doing rehearsals. With a jama session. Yeah, my goodness. Uh, when we started some Dara B company, we came to do some jama session. Kaminya won't come go out of the Slow, eh? Slow. But Jamadi is hot. There's there's this song that is trending. That's um Jesus, I think I love you so much. Mm-hmm. Jama song. And I've had a hint that it's going to be the most Jama song of the day over there. But in all, I think that it's going to be a great event. Mm-hmm. The companies are getting ready. Mm-hmm. Um also on City TV Radio Online. We're bringing you our series on it. So tune in and listen to the City. Olympics series, that's mm-hmm. the CBO series, mm-hmm. where we talk about what to expect and every day mm-hmm. we give you what you have to know about the Olympics. 30th mm-hmm. September, mm-hmm. it in height. I think that for me, as I said last week, there are two Olympics in the world. One organized by the IOC, and then we have the City Business Olympics, the only one in Ghana. Companies are ready. Football seven aside, there's swimming, there is basketball, uh, basketball, tennis, tennis, volleyball. You know, my favorite sack race. Challenge. <laughs> Lemon spoon. I'm wrestling. See, see sack race. Scrabble. Oh no, yeah, no, if you're on the floor. That be sack race. Oh, it's no. part of the competition. No. 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 How is it not part of the competition? <laughs> you, like, you, you, like you like the competition for the wrong reason. Be, oh, no. on, oh, I don't mind. Oh. <laughs> Let me do it. Oh, it's it's it's, it's, it's no, no, no. The business Olympics. You, you, you like? I said the sack race, the one that is I'm, very okay for I'm me. Sure. Okay. It's the women's sack race. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah. I don't no, want to know. There was one I watched on oh. the TV and to recap from last and 
na go go na ke mo sake nayo na ke yeah yeah challenge what is the meaning of this in it that god Togo gogo what is the meaning of this such a I'm sure somebody is okay. out there and wants to feel or wants to know how Olympics are like. Yeah. Yeah, be like, oh, okay. So I've heard of Olympics, Olympics. Yeah. How do they Come do globally? The city this, is, this, is, this is how it is done. Mm-hmm. Every game happening at the same time. So, mm-hmm. see, there is so much happening. Mm-hmm. Every sport you like, from table tennis, everything so at the same time. So, there are only see, two Olympics in the world. Yeah. The, the one by the, the global, IOC. Yes, and then the and then this one. Oh, in Ghana, there's only one. In Ghana, there, see, no one can organize an Olympics in Ghana except city. Thank you. So, 30 September, mm-hmm. Eden Heights, at Wager, mm-hmm. everyone will be there. Half of Ghana will be there. So, no, come see, along. What I don't get, I want to describe the, the one that... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. See, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's don't don't see, do that. I enjoyed swimming last year, but I can't get into it. Thank you. Coach, your microphone is off. Because, you 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 see, off because the two of you are trying to misbehave. So, your microphones are off. Let me do shout-outs. Quick shout-outs. So, this one here is shout-outs to Akwe... KSM, Ashley, and all the boys on the ARC Pandits page from Gabi. Okay, so um, from Gabi, he's giving a shout out to a couple of his people over there. Coach, let me look. No more. Look, mm. this program, eh? Mm. Take it or leave it. Look, I paid a visit. To the nursing and midwifery training college, mm. 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 Get there. Mm. Look, the fans we get for there, no. Shout out, shout Look, out, shout out. The fans we get for there, no. Oh, Charlie. Look, and everybody was trying to get me to understand the team he or she supports. <laughs> so in that order, mm. thank you. <laughs> shout out to John Paul Semenyo, no more. Oh. One of the stout Manchester no, United. No more Semenyo. No more Semenyo. They will have Julius Apelite uh, United, mm. Kofi Abeli Liverpool, mm. Dela Ahaji, mm. like a team, ba. a team, a betting, <laughs> Delali Adiku Asna, nice one, Edinam Ahiati Chelsea, <laughs> Alex. Ajinzia, and Mobemichi, Joshua, Paul Noah, surely all of them. The boss who came in Kasa, boss who, no more, no more job. Oh, no more. No more. In case no more job, no more way. No, no more courage. No more courage. Kwejo Alomatu. Oh, boss who. God bless you. Oh. Greetings from Sports Panorama oh. to all the guys at the nursing training college there, midwife free mm. college, mm. Kolibu. One of these days, we will come there and come and say hi. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Nathan, um, let me shout, quick shout, quick shout. So the shout, the shout outs are on the revolutionary side. Yeah, Charlie. So shout outs to the, the people at, the people of the Democracy Hub group. Mm-hmm. No more. Mm-hmm. Shout mm-hmm. outs to them. I'm mm-hmm. a believer of democracy. Yeah. Shout outs to them. Ah, we met them. Yeah, we'll be in Yamachi. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Amachi, so, many so shout outs to every single person. Yeah. Ah, many yeah. giddy giddy. You and guys, to, you guys are the real soldier. And, 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 and to also, the, and I'm coming. I'm, yeah. I'm, shout outs to the guys who, Got arrested unlawfully mm-hmm. by the police. Yeah. You guys are the real no, no, The Shukura Eight, Daniel Duncan, Niles, Neil Exe. Say the Shukura Eight. All of you guys. I mean, yeah, well, shout out to all the lawyers who were there, especially I don't know her name, but mm-hmm. she's on Twitter, Efia Tafari. Yeah, she, she's been amazing. Shout out to you, Efia. I'm sure you hear this. Yeah. Shout out to you. you guys. Shout out to amazing. you guys, man. You yeah. guys are amazing. And all those who provided food, all those who provided yeah. food, water, support. Shout out to Olele. Yeah. yeah. Olele no, Salvador. Salvador. Solid, solid guy. He's, solid he's guy. He's an solid. amazing guy. Yeah. Solid guy. Yeah. And shout out to everybody who is in support of this protest. Look here. They can't clamp us down. They can't keep us quiet. Yeah, fair. Yeah, no more, no more, yeah, fair. Keep them on their toes. No more, yeah, they fair. have to be accountable. We vote. Yeah, fair. We nah. vote. Yep. To, when we tell our leaders, you democracy are accountable. is not about elections. We put you there. By elections. No more, we put you there. You cannot wait and when it's time my, for elections. My, my senior godfather could talk about his investment. He said something this morning. In your asset investment. The more yeah, people yeah, have yeah. access to daily cash. He said they are not feeling the impact of their decisions. They have access to daily cash. He said democracy is disruptive. I mean, democracy is not respectful. 
So if people want to protest, allow them. Allow to them protest. to protest. They are not. They are not riffraffs. Mm-hmm. The people who were out there said, "I know some of some of them are bankers. Yeah. Some of them are lawyers. Some, some of them, them are doctors. Some of them are well established, are well established people. Established people. They are not riffraffs. Ah, mm-hmm. you're so please, 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 please do not mean. treat them as though they are yeah, misfits. What is that? So shout outs to everybody. Shout out to everybody. From Sports Panorama. From okay, Sports Panorama. Out. You guys are the VIPs. Big you guys up. are Amazing the MVPs. Yeah. And for those Keep of you fighting. those of you who can't be on the ground to protest, you can do so on Support social media. Social, yeah. Yeah, yeah, do it whichever yeah. way. Pichichi. Well, shout out to Sedinam Edmond. He's, Aye, a, he's, he's, a very, yeah, he's a very ardent listener of the show. He so or she. Said na- he's a he. Ah, okay. Yeah. Said yeah. Yeah. Gotta, be, yeah. gotta be sure. Yeah. Yeah. So Sedinam yeah. Edmond, big up to you. And also to... A colleague also listens to the show every day. Uh, his name is um, Ferran Torres is better than Mbappe as well. So shout out to him as well. And then hey, from here, for, Ferran Torres is better than Mbappe. Ah, Charlie. That's his nickname. And then from here, we get to the ghetto where we meet up and then continue what we do. Shout out to all the guys in the coded ghetto. Let's leave it here. My name is Benjamin Nikesia, head of us of Futumanto. Nathan Kwa, coach Christopher Nimli. Elia Aminu Shadow was on the show. Thank you very much for the YouTube messages and also for the text messages as well. The Premier League preview show comes up right after this. We are out. So proudly brought to us by Puka Bell Beverages. And also Game Park Limited. Game Park Games. Thank you.